Good morning. I'm Ernie Bauer, the uh, Senior Director of the Southeast Asia Program here at uh, CSIS, and I'm with Rick Inderfirth, who's joined us as the Chair of the India Program here at CSIS. Good morning, Rick. Good morning. What we wanted to talk to you uh, about today, or discuss, is um, the question of whether India, uh, as it integrates with Asia, uh, should become a member of APEC. And, um, Rick, I, I've sort of been arguing that uh, Asia needs to uh, reach out and, and pull India in. Right. Uh, obviously, they're a member of the East Asia Summit, That's right. and I would I would um, say that the moratorium on APEC is uh, APEC membership is now uh, over. Uh, the U.S. is the chair of APEC, and the question is, uh, should the U.S. Uh, reach out and, and, and be the ones that table the idea of, of India joining it? Yeah. What do you think about that? Well, President Obama has just been to India, and he said that India is no longer emerging. India has emerged as a major player in the, on the world stage. Okay. So India is uh, going to be a major factor in Asia for a long time to come. They've had a policy called Look East since the early 1990s, and a large part of that Look East policy is about, about economic integration and about expanding trade and commerce. So, uh, you know, there was the expression, it's the economy stupid for President Clinton when right. he ran for office. Well, for India, so much about their foreign policy is about economic policy. The, uh, I guess one question would be uh, that we'd have in, in APEC. APEC hasn't been exactly a, known for a results-driven organization. Adding another member like India, which, which doesn't really have a great reputation and uh, as being no. a a great uh, supporter of trade uh, and economic negotiations. For instance, its role in WTO is viewed by many American right. policymakers right. as not constructive. But, uh, I mean, I guess I would take the position that uh, having India in is, is important. It's probably even more important now that the Japan wheel of uh, Asian integration may be off for at least the near term. Yeah, I, I think that's right. I think India uh, is an investment for the future. Yes. Uh, it is already the sec second fastest growing economy in the world at about 9%. Uh, by 2025, it's going to be the third largest economy after the United States and China. Uh, it's already talking about expanding trade with ASEAN by 40% between now and 2012 from 50 to $70 billion. Wow. So India is going to be a big player. Yes. And it wants to be and should be better integrated yeah. into the economies of Asia itself. Yeah, I think, um, look, the United States is chairing APEC this year. Uh, we have Russia next year, but then Indonesia is chairing. You know, having, having the United States, uh, India, and Indonesia, the world's three biggest democracies, right in APEC uh, probably is an investment we need to make. Well, it is, and the United States is investing heavily in India's future. Um, it has already, just recently with the President Obama, endorsed India for a permanent seat on the UN Security Council. Under President Bush, it was the one to look to G20 as the principal economic forum. And President Bush felt that India needed to be at the front table. So the U.S. already sees India as playing a full stakeholder role in the world. And APAC would be another piece of that puzzle. Well, thank you, Rick. I, I think uh, I hope our readers uh, or our viewers will uh, will jump in on this discussion. It's a point of departure uh, for a real discussion about a big question: Should India join APEC? And I think uh, Rick Inderfirth and uh, and I will be uh, thinking about this further. But uh, our initial inclinations, anyway, are invest in India now and, and bring them in while the U.S. is chair. Thank you.